What's up y'all? I got a interesting case. I wanted to share with y'all and see if anybody out there has had this particular problem. A friend of mine presented me with a Henry Golden Boy 22 long rifle and I'll cut right to the chase. The issue is uh, this thing has only been fired about 25 or 30 times and the, the issue that it's having is it will not extract the spent shell casing from the chamber okay uh, and I did not get a chance to ask them exactly what ammunition they was using I didn't get get all that far this was just hey take a look at this type thing so I get it here in the shop and I take it apart look at the bolt look at the extractor and the ejector look at everything it was kind of dirty um, you know 22 is an inherently dirty little round so I cleaned everything up took it all apart broke it down cleaned everything really well so that I could see uh, past the carbon fouling clean the barrel clean the chamber all that and under magnification started looking at the extractor and really it had a few issues with some burrs on the extractor hook itself but I mean it wasn't anything I've seen a lot worse and on the breech face where the recess is where the extractor hook goes down and gets behind the casing had some burrs as well and it looked like just manufacturing problems so I cleaned those up with a little needle file and carefully just squared everything up and cleaned up some of the milling marks that I found and after doing that I got this thing to where at first it would not extract any shells any federal uh, shells at the you know because that's all I was working with at the time was it would not extract any federal and then after filing and cleaning up and all that stuff I got this thing to extract about every fifth time uh, extracting federal shells that that were unfired okay so I'm just working my way through the through the problem so it got me to thinking well maybe I should try a different brand of ammunition in there so <clears throat> I had some old 22 uh, long rifle CCI stingers and I loaded them up in the magazine tube and without firing it once again <clears throat> I just cycled them through and it, it extracted and ejected all 12 or 13 rounds that I put in there no problem whatsoever so I had some Winchester Super X and I put the Winchester rounds in there and same thing it extracted and ejected all of the winchester super x or winchester long 22 long rifle uh rounds no problem and this was still without firing so it kind of led me to to think that maybe something was going on with the with the geometry of the rounds well before i got too ahead of myself i took it outside and i fired it and test fired it probably four or five times and worked it with the worked the lever and everything functioned flawlessly with the 22 um, long rifle cci rounds no problem there no problem with the winchester and still with the federal every fourth or fifth round and i'm just giving an average here that's not exact the federal would not it would fire but it would not extract uh, or eject and or J it wouldn't it wouldn't pull the case out of the chamber so I started looking under magnification at the rounds in the geometry of okay the the 22 rounds so this is the 22 CCI and this is just a crude representation of the geometry of the case round and it has a sharp inside corner and then you see on the federal the federal has kind of like these sweeping uh, gradual transition from the rim thickness into the body of the shell casing and the Winchester also has a sharp inside corner transitioning from the rim to the sides of the shell casing and that just got me to thinking well maybe that has something to do with it maybe it's you know compounded with the few issues that <clears throat> excuse me that I had with the burrs on the action and the breech face and the chamber and all that stuff maybe all that just compounded but still at the end of the day the federal 
the federal geometry of the casing just is not defined enough for that hook to grab a hold of and consistently remove that federal case from the chamber every time because CCI and Winchester every time without fail and I personally I've had some 22s um, for the most part federal has not been a really good um, round for me over the years uh, it's I've always had better luck with Remington CCI or, or Winchester and I mean maybe maybe some of you never had problems with federal but it seems like just in my personal experience that i've had a lot of issues with the uh, federal 22 the 22 ammunition um so i would really like to hear y'all's thoughts on this and if y'all have a henry golden boy and uh if if you have any issues um uh, with extraction of the shell out of the chamber and what type of ammunition you use. I would also like to know if you do have one of these Henry Golden Boys, if it will eat any ammunition you put in it uh, brand wise. You know, I'm curious to know if you have any of these issues. And if you if you don't, and I, you know, it kind of comes out that these things should eat anything being since it's lever action, it probably needs to go back to the factory because something's wrong with it. But as for right now, just looking at it from my, you know, limited experience, this seems like a brand issue and some 22s can be finicky on what particular brand of ammunition they like to consume. So if y'all would leave down in the comments section what you think about this and uh, any experiences y'all have, I, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, this one I thought was going to be really cut and dry and straightforward, but um, it was it was actually a little more in depth than i thought it was i figured this thing was just going to be dirty or and or a broken uh spring under the extractor but it was none of that it was a little bit dirty not very much and um had a few milling burrs cleaned all that up and yet still after all that the federal was still the only round brand that was inconsistent so Hey, I appreciate y'all watching, taking the time to uh, check this out. And I'd appreciate it if y'all left some comments down. Let me know what y'all think. Um, but anyway, y'all stay safe out there and y'all come back now.